Hello guys, this is Sir Mars and you are watching Lectures ni Sir Mars. So sa video na ito, ang aking lecture ay tungkol sa parallel and perpendicular lines. So this is still under sa subject na analytic geometry. Okay, so let us now discuss. So ano ba yung pagkakaiba ng parallel at saka perpendicular line? So of course, alam natin guys that parallel are those lines na parallel. Hindi sila nag-intersect dalawa. At dahil nga hindi sila nag-intersect dalawa, so take note na yung kanilang slope ay equal. Ibig sabihin guys, yung slope ng isang line must be equal to the slope of the other line because nga hindi sila nag-intersect. That means na na pareho sila ng rise over run. Pareho sila ng slope. Okay? So, ano naman yung pagkakaiba ng parallel sa perpendicular line? So, yung perpendicular, kung yung parallel hindi sila nag intersect yung perpendicular line ay nag intersect at 90 degree na angle. So, meron tayong angle na 90 degree sa kanilang intersection. Okay? So, ano yung kinalaman naman nito sa kanilang slope? So, take note sa perpendicular lines, ang slope ng second line is equal to the negative of the reciprocal of the slope of the first line. So, ibig sabihin, the slope 2, slope M2, is equal to negative 1 over M sub 1. Okay? So, again, yung slope ng ating second line is equal to the negative of 1 over the slope of the first line. Okay? So, ito lang yung kailangan yung tandaan, guys. No, So, let us now solve a problem para mas maintindihan natin to. Let us solve the problem. Example problem number 1. Find the equation of the line passing through the point 2, negative 5 and perpendicular to x minus 4y is equal to 3. So, yung mga nandito sa ating, sa ating mga choices ay naka-general form. So, kailangan natin ma-solve kung alin dito yung equation ng line na magpa-pass daw sa point na 2, negative 5 and perpendicular to x minus 4y equals to 3. Okay, so I think it will be better guys, no, kung ipa-plot muna natin itong ating unang line at saka yung point, no, para ma-imagine natin kung ano yung sinusolve natin. Okay, so ang gawin muna natin guys is i-plot muna natin itong si x minus 4y is equal to 3. Okay, so para mas mapadali guys yung ating pag-plot, kunin natin yung ating x-intercept at saka yung y-intercept. So, ang gagawin natin guys is i-set muna natin yung ating x equal to 0, kukunin natin si y. Kasi para makuha natin dito yung ating y-intercept. So, bali guys, no? So, x is equal to 0. So, 0 yung ating x minus 4y is equal to 3. So, bali y natin is equal to negative 3 fourth. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, yung unang point natin is 0, negative 3 fourth. Okay? Negative 3 fourth yung ating y-intercept. Okay? Next is... Ang gawin na natin guys is si y naman yung ating iset to 0 and si x naman yung ating kunin. So, x minus uh, 4y. So, 4 times 0 is equals to 3. So, x is equal to 3. Okay. So, bali guys yung ating next point, 3 at saka 0. Kasi x natin ay 3, y natin is 0. Okay. So, kung ipa-plot natin to guys, so yung ating 3, 0 ay dito. And then, yung ating second point is 0, negative 3, 4. So, which is nandito. So, kapag kinunek natin itong dalawang points na to, ito yung ating line. Okay? So, again, markahan lamang natin guys, no? Itong line na to is yung x minus 4y equals to 3. Okay? Next is, i-plot natin itong point na 2, negative 5. So, yung 2, negative 5 is ito. Okay? This is the point 2, negative 5. Okay? So, ang kailangan naman natin dito is kumuha tayo ng line na perpendicular to the x minus 4y equals to 3 na magpa-pass through sa 2, negative 5. So, ito na nga yung hinahanap natin na equation, guys. So, ano daw yung ating equation netong line na ito? Okay? Sige. So, ano natin? Nakapag perpendicular yung ating line, then the slope of the second line must be equal to negative 1 over m sub 1. Okay? So, edikulin na natin guys yung ating slope netong ating first line. No? That is m1. Ang ating equation is x minus 4y is equal to 3. So, kung naalala nyo, pwede natin siyang gawin na form na y is equals to mx plus b. So, kung nakagalito kasi siya na form guys, yung m natin is actually the slope. Okay? So, sige nga. Pali ang mangyari dito is Negative 4y is equals to negative x plus 3. So, i-divide natin ito ng negative 4. So, mangyari is y is equal to positive 1 fourth x 
minus 3 fourth. So, nakuha natin guys, no? So, ibig sabihin, yung ating slope sa ating first line. Ito yung ating first line, no? Line 1. Ito yung ating line 1, guys. Okay? Ito yung ating line 2. So, para sa ating first line, yung ating slope is eto. Ito yun, no? Yung M. Okay? So, bale, the slope 1 natin is equal to 1 fourth. Okay? So, para sa ating line 2, sure tayo na yung ating line 2 ay dadaan sa 2, 5, 2 negative 5 na point. Ito yun, no? This is 2 negative 5 na point. So, yung ating line 2 ay dadaan sa point na 2, negative 5. And, makukuha natin yung ating slope ng ating line 2 because we know that the line 2 is perpendicular to line 1. It me which means, na yung kanyang slope is equal to negative of the reciprocal of the first line slope. Okay? So, this is equal to negative 1 over 1 fourth. So, this is equal to negative 4. So, M2 natin is negative 4. Ayun. Okay. So, ngayon, meron tayong slope. Then, meron tayong point. We can now use the point-slope form para makuha natin yung equation ni line 2. So, ano nga ulit yung ating point-slope form? Y minus Y1 is equal to M multiplied by X minus X1. So, bali guys, no? Y minus Y1. Ito yung ating X1. Ito yung ating Y1. So, Y1 natin is negative 5 is equal to slope, which is negative 4 multiplied by x minus x1 natin is 2. Simplify natin ito ng konti. y plus 5 is equal to negative 4x plus 8. Transpose natin si 4, negative 4x sa kabila, magiging 4x plus y plus 5 minus 8 is equal to 0. 4x plus y minus 3 is equal to 0. Okay, so the answer here is... 4x plus y minus 3 equals to 0. Okay, so by the answer here is letter, letter D. Okay, so ito na nga guys, yung ating sagot. So again, the answer here is letter D, that is 4x plus y minus 3 equals to 0. Okay, so I hope naglearn kayo guys sa ating lecture ngayon. And please subscribe to my channel no para updated kayo sa mga bagong le lectures natin dito sa aking channel. So I am Sir Mars, so see you in the next video. If this lecture has helped you, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, you can comment below or send your questions to my Facebook page, Lectures Ni Sir Mars. I will paste the link in the video description. You can also download the PDF of my lectures and PDF references for civil engineering by visiting my site. The link is also in the video description. Thank you again, guys. Once again, this is Sir Mars, and see you in the next lecture.